Hello everyone, I am Calliope and today I'm gonna show you how I set up my own watercolor palette. So it is finally time for me to test out and open up and start using all my other watercolor supplies that I have been gathering for a while now. So starting right away, the supplies you need to set up a watercolor palette are some small tag stickers to put on your pants in order to name your pants and write down the colors exactly in case you want to refill them or just to know which color you're using. An empty watercolor palette which in this case I'm going to use the Arteza empty half pans set of 48 half pans which they come in a tin box which I believe is a beautiful choice in a very low price point and it basically has everything you need I mean it already has the half pans and also you can use the extra white little doors that it has for protection also as mixing palettes for your watercolors now when it comes to what paints i'm going to use to fill this palette the ones that i was really excited to try out are the mission gold by Mijello. i have the 44 color set and this is probably the most expensive watercolors that i own the cost of this set is usually around 70 dollars and i mean this is quite a lot which means it it is around $3 per 7ml tube, but I have heard excellent things about this, so let's see how this goes. I am also going to be choosing some individual colors by the Arteza 60 watercolor set. And lastly, I had these three watercolors by Van Gogh, so yeah, I'm gonna be adding these two. So as you can see, I have a variety of brands and quality of watercolors. And this is something that I really like since I want to actually see how these watercolors work side by side and also have the option to carry with me more professional colors or even more student grade for my practices and my sketches. And since I'm still experimenting and trying to learn more about watercolors, this actually will help me a lot. I have already started by pulling out all the pans from their base to spread them on my desk and start plotting my color theory and how I'm going to set up everything. So my thought behind this was pretty simple. I knew that I want to have each brand separately, so by that way I would know which one are the Mijello or the Arteza or the Van Gogh and I can go right away and grab the color and the quality I need. On the top row I started out with the Mijello colors and I just went with the rainbow order and start placing all the colors. Then I placed the three Van Gogh shades and lastly one of the most challenging thing was going through all the 60 Arteza watercolors and finding these colors that I want to add, those individual colors that I thought this palette was missing or I just maybe I found them unique and I wanted to include in my palette. And as always, all the materials I'm using will be listed in the description box down below for you to check them out. And especially for the Arteza, I will also have a discount code for you to get them even cheaper. After laying out all the colors I want to add and making sure that this is the order I want them, and after looking at this satisfying view of all the tubes spread out, it was time to start adding the tag tickets and start writing down the names. And I suggest you do this before you add the colors on the pants because then it will get messy. Even though this seems like a lot of work, it truly didn't take me too much time.
And now it was time to start filling in the tubes. Once again, I suggest you put the pans back into their base before you start adding the colors, because if you do it before and then trying to get the pans into the base will just truly get so much messy and the paints will be all over the place. I mean, imagine trying to push into the tin and the metallic parts of the base and trying to get the pans in. <laughs> this will be a huge mess. So, so add the pans back to their base but don't move any of the colors on the desk so you can see which color goes where and then yeah start seeing the satisfaction of filling the colors and just seeing the colors getting off the tube. Yeah I mean this is so yummy and beautiful. I am just gonna let you hear and just enjoy what you're seeing. Now while I was filling in the pans I believe there are many things you can say and notice for the quality of your watercolor paints of how the paint goes out from the tube and how it stays and flows into the pan. As you can see the Mijello and the Van Gogh really just they were so smoothly and they spread it out so beautifully into the pan and you can see that their binding material looks like it is really nicely made. While the Arteza that they are so much cheaper you can see that their consistency is a type of a mousse, like you can see that the points just stay up and they don't go down smoothly to uniform one mass of color into the pan, which may not even affect their performance, but it was something that I wanted to point out. And after filling all the 48 pans, I let them dry through the night and came back in the morning to see how everything actually dried and as you can see I mean this was something that I I saw coming the Mijello and the Van Gogh were beautifully dried with a uniform look while the Arteza ones have cracked and they're not looking that good but once again let's move on to the swatches so we can see how everything reactivates and maybe the Arteza don't have any problem even though they look a bit dry <laughs> and not that beautiful like the other ones. Starting off with the Mijello, as everyone said, they really met my expectations, their quality is so fine and the pigments are so beautiful and colorful and they truly look exceptional. Uh, I really want to create an art piece with them. And they were so so easy to reactivate, I just added a tiny bit of water and then I didn't even have to push hard or anything. They were really soft and easy to work with immediately and a small amount goes a long way. The same goes with the Van Gogh. And now the ones that I was most curious about, the Arteza watercolors, since by their look they didn't seem promising, but actually I was really pleasantly surprised since they actually worked fine. I had no problem reactivating them, they were just easy and quick and they didn't feel dry or anything. I mean, you can slightly see that their quality is a bit lower than the other two, but I mean, the price is ridiculously 
lower and also as i said before i really want to have those watercolor that i can use for my studies and not actually have to ruin my good quality paints that i want to keep for more finished paintings and since i had these three brands i was really curious to see uh, an actual side by side small test so i chose some blue colors that they seemed similar and did a small quality test and my conclusion is that all three brands performed really great but if you look closely and you get into the details i personally found that the van gogh were my favorite and it was because the way they spread into the paper and how they got into the fibers i hope you can see what i mean and actually see all those little grainy details and how it has united with the paper while the Arteza one didn't really spread very nicely and you can see that the blend and the fade isn't as smoothly so yeah for me the winner was the Van Gogh second place are the Mijello that they come really close to the performance of the Van Gogh and then we have the Arteza which I think is perfect for practicing or getting started with watercolors and as an overall effect all these three shades performed great so yeah this was my setting up my watercolor palette video and i really hope you enjoyed seeing me going through this whole process and all the steps for me it was a really satisfying thing to do but yeah i also love to organize things so having the chance to put colors into order and into pants yeah this is my jam <laughs> And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button since it helps so, so much. And if you want to see more of my art, you can go and follow me on my Instagram account at Kaliopilivyaki, where you can see what I'm working on and, you know, more of my art. And yeah, till next time, have a super duper day. Bye!